Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things and I wanted to just share with you today this beautiful pen that my husband surprised me with. We were in Italy last week and our time there fell over Mother's Day. He had ordered this pen for me and had it there for me on Mother's Day to open. I had a quick little thing on my Instagram but I wanted to just show you this in a little more detail. This is the Bennu Euphoria and it's in the Paklava, the Armenian um, Paklava, which I am acquainted with this dessert as Baklava, but their version is slightly different. It is golden, like a rich golden amber honey color with lots of sparkle in it. It's, it's beautiful. I had called my husband and said, oh, I was on the way to um, somewhere and I had called him on the phone and just mentioned that they brought out this, bought or released this new pen. I'm like, oh, they got to stop doing that. It's so pretty. And he said, oh, are you going to get it? And I'm like, well, probably not. I need to hold off. But so then he got it for me. So this is in the broad nib. It's a Schmidt nib on here. I like that the section or the grip um, is also the same color as the rest of it. I have a Bennu, um, you, let's see, what is it? The Briolette in Luminous Amber. And this part is uh, black, but I like here that it all goes together. It comes with this cartridge converter. And I think I'm going to rinse it out, just do a quick little flush. Other people that I've watched on YouTube really strongly suggest flushing that out before first filling it with ink. And I think unless um, something else strikes my fancy, I'm going to fill it with the uh, Tachia, or I think is how you say that, fountain pen ink. This is the Suchi, which is um, the golden wheat. And I thought that golden brown color in this together would be super pretty. So I am going to go rinse this and we'll come back and do that. I am in the process of flushing this out, as I just mentioned, and as you, as you can see, there is a color to the water. And the water from our sink is not that color, so I know that there's something in there, I guess from the manufacturing, the testing process, I don't know exactly how that all goes on, but I have heard that spoken of, so it's a good thing. I don't usually bother doing that because I just want to get to the writing experience but I'm glad that I decided to rinse this. And I'm also familiar with this kind of nib because I have it in my other Bennu, but I just really was excited about inking it all up and having it uh, with the golden wheat and this new pen and putting it in my lineup of currently inked pens. So let's get that cleaned up and I'll be back. We are back. Let's give it a whirl just for fun. Okay. The usual question is, what to write? And can I zoom in a little? I don't want to go out of frame, but this might be a little more fun. So we have the Bennu. Ooh. It is a really nice wet flow. Of course, it was just dipped in the ink. And this is the... I think I'm spelling it right. Oh, I just love this. It's so gushy, so smooth, and this is such a nice size pen. My fingernails are looking really bad. I got, got them done before the trip, and it's all grown out. That's not why you're here, though. So, anyway, this is... Wonderful. This will be a pen I will certainly enjoy using all the time already. I just love how the nib feels. It's pretty. It's comfortable in my hand. I mean, it's gorgeous. It really does look like honey. That's amazing. So, let's zoom back out. There we go. Very short, I know, but just wanted to share that. It was so sweet of my husband to surprise me with that. This is a limited edition pen uh, through Gold Spot Pens. It's a one of 100, so if you like that, I, I have no idea how quickly these things go, but um, if you want one, I would say head on over there while they still have some. 
So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.